Ready for my next pad decision? This is a 1988 Thunderbird. You might say, why the fuck would you get that? That is why. It's a turd, the window's broken out, but we have a 200 horsepower four cylinder that has a small shitty intercooler, and the bottom end could hold 400 horsepower. You just gotta throw fuel and boost at it. So that sounds like a good time. Um, my plans are, if I can get it running in this piece of shit body to beat the shit out of it for the winter, because my Subaru is usually my winter beater, and, oh, where's the boost gauge? Yeah. This is a fucking, um, the automatic only went to 10 PSI. This is a standard one, so it goes to 15. But it's rated for like 190 horsepower stock. Um, I'm gonna drive it for the winter if I can. And then put this motor into a Ford Ranger that is ratty as fuck because it'll still look like a four-cylinder. Uh, and it'll sound like a four-cylinder because all my V8 ones, you could tell right away that it's not stock. But I'm hoping to make around 350 horsepower out of it, so it'll be the ultimate sleeper. So we'll see what happens. My good friend has it. And I think I'm going to get it super cheap. Stay tuned for this if shit, I end up though. getting this thing, I'm going to strip this thing as light as I can get it, just like maybe two front seats rip it for the winter, try to get the motor run good, so when I swap it into a Ranger, like, she's ready to rip, ready to fucking beat up some Honda Civics and shit, but, see what happens. What is this brake thing, dude? I don't see a vacuum booster. No, there's no vacuum booster. And there's this massive thing on the front, maybe it's like the first ABS pump or something? I don't know. Sounds like fun. I can't wait to do burnouts in this thing. Check out these functional hood scoop. It ducks into this for the intercooler. Pretty sick. Back in 88. They were doing it before Subaru was. Hmm. So... Let me know if I should buy this or not, or uh, you think it's a completely bad idea. Leave some comments. Yeah.